Hello, welcome to this ESP8266 standalone use. Standalone use meaning it doesn't require any other supporting accessory like Arduino board or a microcontroller, but its IO ports GPIO0 and GPIO2 can be used to switch on an LED and finally that point can also be used to switch on any AC load through optocoupler arrangement, which we'll see a little later. This has got an advantage that uh, it takes 3.3 volt so we have to first find out a 3.3 volt source also and then usually chpd is connected to 3.3 volt vcc and the tx rx will not be used ground of course will be used for 3.3 volt and these two pins will be used as far as our project is concerned it doesn't require any arduino program the firmware which is available in this uh, esp factory loaded uh, firmware will be changed to a firmware which we will try to load it through certain special arrangements and that arrangement is by using a usb to ttl converter and of course a 3.3 volt regulator so in all total you need the usb to ttl converter then the esp of course and we need a 3.3 volt regulator which will derive power from a 230 volt or 110 volt uh, adapter which gives 5 volts which are available at a very low price and uh, an opto isolator which will be interfaced to the output GPIO 0 and GPIO 2 of the ESP and a BT-136 or a 139 track to drive any AC load. Initially you need this but subsequently your project will not require this because this will be loaded with the firmware and uh, once it is loaded with the firmware you don't need this and so the ESP will work in standalone version. For loading the firmware onto the ESP, you need this TTL to USB converter and the connection should be made like this as given here. After that, you need to flash your ESP8266, meaning whatever firmware is there inside will be erased. So when you run the node MCU firmware programmer, the screen will look like this. Select your port, whichever port you have been using Go to the configure mode to look like this. These are the two files. The first one, the 00000.bin is the erase, it erases the program, and the next one is 0x400000 is the program. Make sure you cross these two and make sure that change is to 4000 or 40000 otherwise it will not load then come back to operation mode here it will be flash so once you press this will convert get converted to stop and this bar will start getting advanced and after the whole program is loaded it will look like this with a green mark here after the program is loaded remove the gpio zero ground connection and connect it this way from 3.3 volt supply and two LEDs so as to first check whether your program is working or not. Download this Android application. The biggest advantage of this application is that for the Wi-Fi, the SSI and the password, which usually in many other programs are hard coded, here the user has the option of changing his SSID and password. This is the biggest advantage of this app. After that the firmware loaded will respond to the ESP IP and the Android IP and then by on and off area you can you can change the SSID here and then on and off the load can be done for GPIO 0 or GPIO 2. There is one little catch that while using the ESB to TTL converter make sure that you use a circuit like this where you take a 3.3 volt generator diode and a resistance of about 100 to 500 ohms. This point should go to the RX pin of the ESP because this will be given 5 volt and the 5 volt is clamped to 3.3 volt but the ESP can accept not more than 3.3 volt as far as the receiving point or RX is concerned. As far as TX from ESP is concerned, this kind of arrangement is not required. It's only for the RX pin that you need to have this kind of arrangement. And finally, the product looks like this. Where you have the ESP like this, you have the opto here, you have the 3.3 volt regulator here, and the triac here. Go there the snubber network for the triac, and there of course the driving resistors for the opto isolator, and ESP is here. The 3.3 
the 5 volt the 5 volt goes from this 230 volt or 110 volt to 5 volt you get 5 volt here and that 5 volt is converted to 3.3 volt and 3 volt 3.3 volt is given for the ESP to operate and of course these are the two points of the switch track switch any load AC load can be used with this these are the arrangements which are made and you can see the sides we just kept a battery here to get an idea as to what are the sides like